But like I said, we're going to be talking about uh, the numbers and the macro data that has come in in India. India's September consumer inflation number is uh, due today. CNBC TV 18 poll shows that inflation will hit 5.22% over 5.02% inflation in September last year. Lata is joining in with us to give us more details on what should we be expecting. Lata, good morning. Uh, good morning. Well, 5.22 over a 5.02 base is not a, a low base effect, which means we are growing at 5% year after year. That is something that will worry the Reserve Bank, whose mandate is to keep it at 4%. Now, the uh, big culprit is going to be food, which is which had fallen from a highs of 9 and 10% to 5.6% uh, uh, in the month of August. But that's expected to now jump to about 8%. We all know vegetables, tomatoes, potatoes, all of them have become expensive. Even pulses uh, are uh, resisting any fall. So that could be an impact probably because of high rains and poor transportation. Core CPI, which was you know trending towards 3% at the start of the fiscal year, is now going to be 3.5%. August was 3.4%. Before that, it was 33 So that's also steadily increasing, largely because of a base effect and because of gold. Gold gets included over here and that prices have been rising. So uh, will the bond yields rise if you get a 5.22 uh, inflation number compared to just 36 in the month of August? My sense is not because the monetary policy already during the monetary policy statement, the Reserve Bank already indicated we are aware that the next couple of readings are going to be above five percent. We must try and look through. We want to look through that hump before we take any action. Those statements had come. Uh, that was why it was a, called a hawkish change in stance. Therefore, we will not uh, expect bond yields to react to this piece of information. Okay. Thank you so much for that, Lata. Surely keeping an eye on the all-important CPI data. But, Lata, 